Hi, and welcome to an example of Governor Mifflin's elementary Google Classroom. My name is Lindsay Babzak, and I'm going to talk you through the setup of our K-4 Google Classrooms. All Google Classrooms will follow a similar format for the 2020 to 2021 school year. Please follow along with me as I walk you through some of the most important features of Google Classroom. This is your stream. First, notice that in the banner, there is going to be a link for your Google Meets. This will be the same for every time your class has a scheduled Google Meet. It will always appear up here in the banner. Note that your teacher will be able to turn it on and off for when you are able to join. Down below in the stream, your teacher will be posting any important information or reminders. On the left, you'll find a box of upcoming due dates for any assignments. To find your assignments, click on the Classwork tab. Under this Classwork tab, your teachers will be organizing your assignments by weekly date topics. Underneath the dates, you will see several different types of postings. You will notice that the postings have either a light gray icon or colored icon. Light gray posts are those that require you to access and view material, while colored posts are assignments with due dates noted on the right that require action to be marked as complete. Once those assignments requiring action are completed and marked as done, their icons will turn light gray to note that they have been turned in. Under each week, the first thing you will see is a sneak peek at the week. This will be an overview of the week's topics and events. For each day of the week, you will also find a welcome video from your teacher and a post to access a Google slide on which you can find hyperlinks for your lessons for the day. It's very important that you view both these two posts first each day before accessing the additional postings, which will be assignments for you to complete that go with and follow the lessons you access in the slide. One of the postings of assignments you may be asked to complete is an attachment of material. Once you access and complete the attached material, you will have to come back to the assignment in Google Classroom to mark your work as done. So once I mark my work as done, it will change from assigned to turned in. If you realize that you need to either attach work or make any changes, you may unsubmit and return in your work at this time. You will notice that because I turned it in, the icon turned light gray. Each day will follow the same format. The next day, welcome video and lesson slideshow. Here are some other examples of postings for assignments that you might have. This assignment is a question. View the question and type your answer in the answer box on the right. Once you turn in your short answer, you will be able to see and view classmate answers. In this section, you can reply to classmates using a comment. You can also receive responses to your own answer. Another type of assignment might be a Google Doc or slide for you to access, complete, and turn in. This will show up under your work, and the document or material will have your name automatically added to the title. This will open in a separate tab and will be saved in your Google Drive in your classroom folder, which I will show you where to find in a bit. Once it is completed, head back to your assignment and click Turn In. Once an assignment has been turned in and graded by your teacher, it will show up under your work as graded. You do have the opportunity to resubmit if needed. A really great way to see your assignments all in one place is by looking at the View Your Work tab. You can see what has been assigned, what has been returned, and what is still missing if it's past the due date. Here's the list of all of your assignments, including due dates. If an assignment has been returned by your teacher, you can see the feedback by clicking returned, clicking your assignments, and seeing if any private comments were left by your teacher, or viewing details. Other links available is the Meet link. This appears here as well as in the banner on your stream. 
For your Google Meet schedule, you can check the sneak peek at the week, your stream, or your Google Calendar. When you click on Google Calendar, you will find your Google Meet scheduled as events. Please use the link in your classroom to join the Meet. Additionally, all of the assignments that have a scheduled due date will appear under the date on which they are due. The other link that you have access to is your Class Drive folder. Within this folder, you will find every assignment that was assigned as a document or slide, and it will automatically be saved and accessible within this folder. All elementary students will also be in a classroom for their specials. You can find this classroom by toggling to the side of your screen, clicking the three lines, and going to the specials classroom. This is organized very similarly with announcements appearing under the stream. When you go to classwork, you will find each special has its own topic under which they will post their lesson for the week. We hope this short video has helped familiarize you with our Google Classroom setup for the 2020 to 2021 school year.